Communication with the dog is challenging. This is why people, as the wiser creatures, have to learn how to speak a little dog. It's easy, fun and useful once you get the knack of it. It is particularly useful to learn which signals will reassure and calm a dog. When you strengthen these signals with your puppy from a very young age, your life with the pet will be much easier. The calming signals are ones that dogs use to communicate with each other. Your puppy will have learned these signals from its mother before it has been weaned. These are signals that dogs throughout the world use to communicate amongst themselves. In other words, throughout the world, dogs have a common language that people too can learn to use. Typical calming signals are licking of the lips, blinking the eyes, turning away the head or gaze, turning the flank towards another dog, changing direction when walking towards another dog so as not to walk straight at each other, sniffing of the ground and yawning. These calming signals will be reinforced in a dog if it gets to use them effectively. A dog can be praised for using the signals or a person can calm a dog down by, for instance, yawning. These methods work if no other reaction, such as an attack, has yet occurred. Rauhoittavat signaalit voivat heikentyä kadota lopulta kokonaan, jos koiran käyttämiä signaaleita ei ymmärretä. Kielen voi kuitenkin opettaa koiralle uudelleen, jos osaa käyttää ja tulkita sitä itse. Usein koiran käyttämät rauhoittavat signaalit tulkitaan tottelemattomuudeksi. Hukka! Täällä! Hieno tyttönen. Hieno tyttönen taitava. Jos esimerkiksi kutsuu koiraa vihaisella äänellä, Koira yrittää rauhoitella omistajansa kääntämällä kyljen, haistelemalla maata, hidastamalla tai haukottelemalla. Koira yrittää viestittää omistajalleen kaikin keinoin, ettei ole syytä hermostua. Tämä tulkitaan helposti tottelemattomuudeksi tai ainakin haluttomuudeksi totella. A good example of a person using calming signals is the way one should become acquainted with a strange dog, especially if it is timid. The hands should never be raised above the dog, even if the intention would be to pat or scratch. A dog will jump in fear and run away before you even have time to touch it. When a dog approaches, a person can squat, turn their back or side and look in the opposite direction, yawn, lick their lips and pour at the ground. This is the easiest way you can get a dog to acquaint itself with a person. Once the dog comes over to you, you can continue to behave as before, avoiding sudden movements and in particular avoiding standing up. However, one can talk calmly to the dog and if the dog allows one can scratch it under the chin, on the chest or the sides. 